Hello students. Today we will be going over 8.2, investigating line types and shading of linear inequalities. Our objective, I can graph linear inequalities with appropriate boundary line and shading. So the first part goes over <clears throat> if it's greater than or less than, the line is dashed. See right here, it's the same as a number line where you're like, oh, this takes less ink. Dotted lines take less ink. So that's how you can remember that right there. Hopefully you can see that okay. Points on the line are not part of the solution. So it's dotted here. Again, this is greater than or less than. If it is or equal to, then you're going to have a solid line. Solid line, see if it has or equal to. More ink means more ink here, and it's going to be a solid line. Okay, now I'm going to jump to number one and go through the steps of um, graphing an inequality. The first thing you want to do is, oh, they already have your line for you. Normally, you'd have to graph this line first. It's less than or equal to, so that means it's a solid line. Okay, now since we already have our solid line, we have to shade either above or below the line. Now, if it's less than, then you think, oh, if it's less than, it's going to be down. So it's below the line. Think about if the line was going to fall, where would that be? It would fall down here. So think of less than as falling down. You're less than full strength or something like that. Okay, so it should be shaded on this side. So if it's shaded, I'm going to test 0, 0. If it's shaded, 0, 0 should make this equation or inequality true. So let's find out if it does. So I'm going to grab my marker. I'm going to say my 0 is y. Is 0 less than or equal to, let's see, 0 plus 3? Is 0 less than or equal to 3? Yes, that is true. So I tested 0, 0. It makes a true statement. So that means all this side should be shaded. Okay. Now, to come up with three more solutions, I can pick anything, any points in any of this. Okay. So we already know 0, 0 works. I can pick 1, 0. I can pick 2, 0. And if I want, I can just pick 3, 0. And those should all make true solutions because we've shaded that part of the line. Okay. All right, let's go on to number two. This is greater than, so less ink here, less ink here. And they already have a dotted line for you, and that's fabulous. Okay. Now I'm going to try 0, 0 to see if I shade above the line or if it makes an untrue statement if I need to shade over here. So we have y is greater than all of this. So I'm going to put 0 in for y. Is 0 greater than 0 times negative a half is 0 minus 3. So is 0 greater than negative 3? Here's 0. Here's negative 3. It's to the right on the number line. So that is true. So that means everything should be sh uh, shaded above the line. Now, I can pick anywhere here that I have shaded to be my solutions. I could go with like 1, 1. Whoops. I could go with 2, 2. And I can go with 3, 3. So there's a whole bunch of different solutions here that you could have chosen. Now, if it's greater than, think of a greater burden on the back side of the ladder. So here's the ladder. A greater burden is going to make it fall. So greater burden up here, that's where you're going to be shading. Okay? All right. Now we're going to jump to page 145. Um, I will let you finish 3 and 4, and we will go on to 145. Okay? And again, I hope you can still see that okay, because I know we, I did it a little bit sideways. So again, 145, there's a whole bunch of rigmarole up here at the top. And basically it is you um, draw the line that's y equals 
to whatever mx plus b is, okay? So if you want to read through that, you can. Um, but basically, you're going to figure out the line. Okay, I guess, do we have to graph it? It doesn't show us having to graph it, but I might graph it too, just so you have that background on how to do it, okay? So what you want to do is graph y equals 4 thirds x minus 2, okay? And I'll go over the steps for that. Now, we have to first decide if it's a solid or a dotted line. Now, over here is less than, and it's taken less ink, so it's going to be a dotted line. And I'll put dotted right there. So it's a dotted line. And we start, so m is our slope, and that's 4 thirds. Starts at negative 2 on the y-axis. Okay, so negative 2 on the y-axis is right there, okay? Slope is positive, therefore it does what? It increases, so it's going up and to the right. I'll put increases across the plane, okay? The line is dotted, and it's less than, so what is it going to be? It is going to be below or to the left of the line. Well, I don't know if it's to the left or right, but it is going to be low. Shading is below uh, to the left of the line, okay? Let's go ahead and graph this one because I think it's good practice. So right here it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3. And that's a positive slope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So we want to connect all of this up. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. Oh, whoops. Okay, some of you might make this mistake that I just made. And what was it? Supposed to be a dotted line, not a solid line. Now, I can do it easily and make it dotted line like that. Might not be as easy for you. Then you want to test out 0, 0. If it works, it should be above here. Since it's less than, it should make an in a, a false statement if I put in zero, zero. Let's find out. Is zero less than zero times four thirds of zero minus two? Is zero less than negative two? No. So zero, zero does make a false statement. So the shading should go down here. Okay. All right. I think the only other trickster one is maybe 7 and 8, where you have y is greater than without an x, and x is less than without a y. And I may help you in class with that one, and maybe not. Okay? All right, you can do the rest, students. You rock.